hello, welcome to an ep episode of On The Bank Angling. Um, back here at Creedy Lakes. Uh, it's early March, I'm hoping to um, bag one of the, another one of the lovely commons that are in here. Um, so we haven't been here all day, we've only just turned up, it's about one o'clock. Um, so we're hoping just in a sort of afternoon session we can bag a nice sort of winter, early spring carp for you. Fishing in a swim called the Wheelchair Swim. We've got a nice island here with a little channel around the back of it. I've already seen some carp in and around the back of the channel. Um, so you never know your luck, we might be able to pull one of those out for you. The lake's quite busy today, um, even though it is midweek. There's a few people on. Um, this right hand bank is pretty much full up. The left hand bank's got no one on it. But the top hand bank has got, again, another three or four people up there. So I found a few fish. Let's see if we can get some out. Right, so here's the two baits I'm using on today's session. As you can see, a lot of maggots. Carp absolutely love maggots all year round. Um, they're especially good in the winter because they carry little um, actual uh, nutritional value. So they can eat loads of these. You can put loads of them in. They're really visually attractive, really stimulate the carp into feeding, and um, it won't fill them up. So it's ideal for uh, winter, early spring when the carp are a bit lethargic and not picking up much bait. Just to go with this is a bit, a bit of a bigger food item. Got some cell boilies. These are broken into um, halves and whole, and obviously whole baits. Um, again, really good. Low fish meal boilie. Um, really attractive to carp. Um, they can catch all year round. I found them especially good in winter though. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm putting in. That just allows me to sort of change bait. The only trouble with maggots is the fish can come become a bit uh, preoccupied with them if you're putting loads in. So um, I, I've got the option then of changing to to sort of uh, Medusa maggot rigs. Um, at the moment I've just started on chod rigs with a little bit of chops around it and a few pouches of maggots. Um, so let's see how it goes. Hopefully get a carp with those baits. Right, here we go. First fish of the day. About 20 minutes after casting out. It's a really good fish as well. 20 pounds, 4 ounces. Lovely pristine 3D common. kicking off because I've been resting in the margins. My dad's supposed to be turning up, but so I quickly gave him a ring while I rested him. And um, so I wanted him to take the photos really, but he's not going to be here for a little while. There we go. What an absolutely cracking fish. 20 pounds, two ounces. Great start to the day. Plenty of time left as well. I'm just an afternoon winter session. Happy days. Slipping back. Right, so it's about four o'clock now. Um, been about half an hour, 45 minutes since I caught that fish. Recast um, in the channel near the island, um, but I haven't had. Uh, anything yet. I did spook a fish when it went in so that's probably what happened there. It's probably drawn them out a bit but we have. My dad just turned up now to fish this room next to me. He was unsure if he wanted to fish. We actually have just started seeing fish showing out there on that far margin in between the boathouse and this sort of entry here and um, they've just started showing out there over the bait that I put in so happy days. Hopefully he'll get one when he casts out. Right so Dad's turned up. Um, it's a bit late, it's getting cold, um, but there were fish showing everywhere, so uh, Dad decided he's going to put out a high, of, high vis pop up. I advised against it because it's bright pink and he covered it in goo. It didn't really look like the best thing, but it's been out there about 10 minutes near where the fish are showing, and he's in. So hopefully he lands it. Mine's gone a bit, my swim's gone a bit quiet. I'll grab the net for him. But there's fish started showing all over where I put the bait in earlier. Um, so Dad, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the rod that I didn't think was going to go. So I wouldn't be surprised if Dad's left hand rod goes as well fairly soon. But hey, happy days. 
Feel very good or? Doesn't matter, does it? In February, well, that was my half decent boil. And then that double, I think. There you go. Happy days. <laughs> Nail. Right, so Dad's got the fish in the sling. Let's see how much it goes. And fall off. It's. Uh... Ten, I would guess. Fifteen, ten. Yeah. Happy days. Not bad for a one one chuck on a pop up, is it? <laughs> cool. All right, so that's just dampening down the fish for the photos. Fifteen pound, ten ounce common. There we go. He's lost a few scales. Bit of a warrior that one. Yeah. Big old mouth on it. Too. Big mouth. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. All right, let's get some photos. Right, so Dad's just returning. It's fifteen pound ten ounce common. His first fish of the session, he's only been here 20 minutes as well. Get in. Hopefully get a few more before dark. Lots of shows going on. Right, so it's nearly dark. Getting dimsy. Got fish showing pretty much all up this left hand bank. There's no one fishing it apart from us. But they're not, there's one out there, it's just showing. Right yeah. They're not showing, oh, yeah, I've yeah. got, got them both. They're not showing directly over our rigs though, so we're not too worried yet. But it looks like we could be in for a chance with another one. I've just pulled in my right hand rod after leaving it out there for an hour and a half to find a big branch on the end, which is not what you want. And there's still fish in around the back of this island in the channel but they don't appear to be feeding because I've put plenty of bait in and when they do, are feeding in there they tend to stare at the bottom and none of that's been going on but yeah, I've just been sat here for the last hour and a half watching all these fish showing which we didn't see at all in the last session did we? Nope, nothing and it looks like these fish are probably on bait in the last few days yeah, leftover bait from the weekend and the whole of this left arm bank hasn't had any angling pressure on it today so fish start to move in on everything that's been chucked in over the last few days probably. yeah that's why dad picked up on just a single hook bait i think i've put a fair bit of well i've put a bit of bait in not loads not enough if they come in and start hammering it but let's see how it goes anyway <laughs> 